What is a Destro left-handed watch and why in the world would you want one? Coming up, fresh from the showcase at Swiss Watch Expo. Fresh from the showcase at Swiss Watch Expo, we're talking about Destro watches. There's a lot of weird nomenclature around these watches and uh, it might be a little bit confusing. We'll try to cut through all that and make it clear for you. Uh, it's an interesting concept. We're really talking about any watch where the crown is on the left side instead of the traditional right. That's what we mean when we talk about a Destro watch or a left-handed watch but there's a few different words that people use around that so let's try to make that clear. So the word Destro it's an Italian word that means right. Uh, so why would we call this a right-handed watch? Well, it's because the idea would be that you would wear it on the right hand. So let's just say you're a left-handed person. About 10% of the population out there is, including myself and a few of the salespeople here, it turns out. And uh, if you were wearing a watch the traditional way, you're wearing it on your left hand. And uh, so it's perfect for you to reach over with your right hand and manipulate the crown. Also, the left hand probably doesn't get used as much by a right-handed person, so it would help protect the watch from any kind of extraneous knocks, wear, that sort of thing. So this is the way we think of it. Uh, even being a left-handed person, I usually wear my watch on my left hand. Uh, most left-handed people, I think, wear it on the right for the same reasons. It keeps it out of the way on the right side. But now if you think about it, the crown is now on the right side. Um, uh, most watches, when they're that way, you would have to reach around with your left hand to try to awkwardly manipulate the crown. You just couldn't do it. So instead, these left-handed watches, they conveniently relocated the crown from the right side to the left. You can wear it on your right hand, and then you can manipulate the crown with your left hand much more easily. But what if you're not left-handed? Well, you could still always wear a watch on your right hand. Uh, I, I know a guy who wears two watches all the time, uh, an Apple watch and a real watch. So you could do that. But for a lot of people, when I hear some feedback on Panerai, one of the things that people are concerned about is that because this crown guard is so large, they're afraid that if they have it pointed toward their hand, that it's going to somehow get in the way when they flex their hand, that it's going to dig into their wrist, dig into their hand. I always wear my Panerai on my left hand. It, the crown has never bothered me once, so don't really worry about that. But if you are concerned about it, you could always get the left-handed watch like this Luminor and you could wear it on your left hand as a left-handed watch and it would relocate the crown to inside instead of toward, the, toward your hand and you would never have to worry about that digging into your wrist feature of the, of the, the large crown guard on the Panerai. Or if you are left-handed or you just like the look of it, you could always wear it over here on the right side and it's a, a, a perfect reverse. Now, one of the interesting things about the history of these watches is that the story goes that in 1952, Charlie Chaplin, the famous uh, silent movie star, that he was left-handed and he wanted a watch that he could use the crown with his left hand, and so he ordered one from Rolex. I guess if you're Charlie Chaplin, they'll make a one-off watch for you. They wouldn't for me, uh, but they did for him, and his watch was sold for millions of dollars at an auction a few years ago. Um, when uh, I don't think that Rolex has ever done a left-handed watch, though, as a production watch. Though You'll have to correct me if I'm wrong. Tell us in the comments. I know that their sister company, Tudor, that in the Tudor Pelagos line, there were special orders that were done all through the 70s, quite a few of them, apparently, to the point that it's a, I wouldn't say common watch, but a lot more common than a left-handed Rolex. So the company decided to take their Pelagos line and uh, the, the current sportiest tool watch. You do see a lot of these left-handed watches, they're really, they're focused on being tool watches. They're not dress watches or anything like that. They're watches that people really are using day to day for some sort of timekeeping function. But in their Pelagos line, they've uh, come out with what they call the LHD for left-hand drive. And we have it in stock here in titanium. Um, it's just a great look, but you can see this is actually a production watch with Tag Heuer, Back in the 60s, and when Hoyer uh, was part of the conglomerate that came out with the first automatic chronographs, they located the crown on the left side. Uh, apparently, at the time, they, it was too complicated to be able to have the chronograph module 
and have the pushers and also have the crown all on the same side. So it's just naturally on the left. So if you're a purist when it comes to all things Steve McQueen and racing, and you can see this one has the golf livery, uh, the definitely the, the caliber 11 Monaco you're gonna want is the one with the crown on the left because that was the one that the King of Cool wore. So you've got a few different choices here for the left-handed watches for the Destros. If you call us up, we'll, be, we'll know exactly what you're talking about. I think that the Panerai, that this is one of the coolest looks because it's already a really unusual watch that's a real conversation piece. Whenever I, I, I used to have a, uh, a left-handed titanium Luminor Marina, and every time I wore it, it got all kinds of conversation around it because people wanted to know exactly what that was going on. And, uh, you know, they thought it looked like a throwback military watch, which of course it was. So a lot of fun you can have with these, uh, whether you're left-handed or right-handed, it really makes a good choice. Um, if you've ever thought at all about the idea that the, the Panerai Crown Guard might sort of dig into you, this is a solution for you. But just going back historical pieces, uh, really some interesting stories behind these and uh, a great chance for you to have a, an unusual, interesting conversation piece.